Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to my 2022 reboot of Fallout Shelter, Episode 6. Okay, yes, we're already at Episode 6. Here we are back into the shelter, and the baby has grown up. Okay, so one of the kids has grown up to a full adult, and we cannot collect everything from the wasteland. Okay, right. Well, we have two things to do. We need to make more storage space. It's going to... Ooh, 1,125 caps. We do not have enough to upgrade the storage. So what we're going to have to do is build additional storage. So 450 should hopefully do it. Now the question is where do we put it? I think we'll put it at the top up here. Because uh, next to that will be two separate radio rooms. We can demolish it later to build a third. Okay, right. We've now been able to collect everything from the quest and from uh, the trip into the wasteland. Now we do have some additional outfits, uh, so we should get those put onto our dwellers for maximum benefit. Okay, right, Jeffrey, where are we going to put you? Uh, let's put you into perception. There we go. Okay, we've got our grown-up kids now as well uh, that we will need to assign to rooms and probably build more rooms as well. Okay, so Marie, you are a charisma, uh, so not really going to benefit put you anywhere. Okay, intelligence one, we could put you in there. Charisma is three, let's dump you into the living quarters for now. Okay, Anna, you, oh, again, no specific special stats, uh, not going to benefit any particular room, so we could put it down there for intelligence two. Uh, you are a strength person, Christine, so we can get you put into a power room, but we do have six people in there already. So what we're going to need to do is potentially build our second power room. And we've had a rat roach infestation. Fantastic. Okay, you've got a weapon. Let's get you in there. And you've got a weapon as well. A little pea shooter, but again, we'll get you into the room to get those rat roaches killed. There we go. And, of course, you get that nice little experience points boost from any incident. Okay, let us uh, we've still got the people in the wrong places, so let's go for an additional power generator and get that built, which, of course, will accommodate two more people uh, so we can get the people put in. Okay, now where... let's have a look. You were luck, but everything else equal, so you can go into the power room. That's fine. Let's grab uh, Christine as well get her put in so strength three lovely stuff collect our power and of course you'll see our resources at the moment both food and water are quite low now Marie we will leave where she is for now let's have a look around uh, see what we can do with the shelter I mean, Charisma is there, so ideally she would be for the radio room, but at the moment we do not have enough caps. So if we scroll over to the radio room, there we go. We need 600 caps to be able to build our first radio room. So we need some luck. We need a luck collection so we get some extra caps, or we can try rushing one of the rooms, uh, which may give us some extra caps. Although, of course, we may get an incident as well. And, of course, there's always finding the mysterious stranger, who could also give us some extra caps. Okay, we're at 578. Getting close. Uh, not quite enough yet. But again, it's a case of waiting and hoping. We could rush. Uh, let's rush this one. 29% chance of an incident. Yeah, let's do it, because that should give us the caps that we need, as long as it's successful. Hey, and it is for once. It didn't fail. And it's put us to 607 caps. Lovely stuff. We can now build our first radio station. Again, up on the top floor. And get the Charisma individual put in there. She's nice and happy with that. That's good. And, of course, we can put her in Nightwear, which will give an extra three Charisma. And will boost her to Charisma 6. So, more chance of recruiting people from the Wasteland into our vault. Oh, and there's the Mysterious Stranger. 125 caps. Oh, yes. Okay, that puts us back up to a whopping 132 caps. Uh, not a huge amount else uh, 
for now. Oh, got somebody else to level up. And to the person that commented, leveling up does not affect your rooms. Upgrading the rooms is what increases the difficulty of incidents. So a level one versus a level three fully upgraded room, the fully upgraded room is gonna have much harder incidents to deal with. Uh, next thing was probably get going on another quest. Uh, so let's have a look. We've got level seven for this one uh, with four plus damage. So let's see who we've got. We've got plenty of people. Go by level or special stats. I mean, we know that Jeffrey is one of our questers, uh, so we can get him added in. Well, he was a wasteland person. Uh, we could take uh, these people actually, so take some new people out and good old Marie. Uh, who's our high-end charisma person. We've got Rachel, of course, uh, who was a rare dweller, and she's level 11. Uh, we could get her leveled up, quite possibly, taking her on the quest. So the next thing to do is look at guns. So let's put out Wasteland gear, give her the military fatigues, and then the next thing that we want to do is start swapping around the weaponry. So again, as I said in previous videos, now we do have a lot of extra weapons lying around now. We've got an enhanced hunting rifle, which is five to seven damage. We've got six to seven damage for this sawn off shotgun, which is actually quite good damage anyway. And um, she's got a rusty sawn off shotgun, which is six damage. So potentially that's good enough for the quest. We need four plus, uh, but we could go to equipped and then swap out for a much higher damage weapon. So where's that rusty sniper rifle? There it is. So we'll take the rusty sniper rifle. So now we have a good amount of damage um, delivery. We'll take some stim packs and some radaways and away we go. Now the question is do we use a quantum cola or do we just start? So we use a quantum. Um, I do this, again I've said in previous episodes, I do this just so you guys get to see the quest straight away uh, without having to count down the clock. If you want to save your quantums, do it. Uh, because you can use them in multiple situations. You can use them for completing weapons, outfits, uh, training uh, in the training rooms. So you may want to save it for those kind of things. Okay, now we've got some shiny there that we can't see. There we go, two radaways, nice. Into the next room. And two stim packs, nice. So some free uh, meds and some free radiation treatments. Always handy when you're out on a quest, especially at the start of the game when you don't have a huge number. Okay, we've got some rad roaches. So let's see how these get dealt with. Not bad, Sniper Rifle took them out straight away. Uh, we've got two more to kill, so come on, let's get them killed. And are we going to get any bodies? Yes we are, and it's a baseball glove. Lovely stuff, and some caps. We're at 43. Okay, another big room, uh, with nothing in it apart from one shiny, so let's see. Oh, it's a pea shooter. A very small caliber, useless pistol but it will allow us to arm another dweller in the shelter, so it's not a bad thing. Double caps. 143 caps total. Now there's more down than up, so we will go up first, clear out the top floor, and then go down and do the bottom rooms. Okay, we've got double shinies. Oh, nice. Some raider armor. And of course some caps. Into the next room we go. What do we have? We have some rad roaches. Let's get them killed. Two dead straight away. And, oh, nearly. Okay. That's it. Reload and refire. That's another one dead. And another one dead. Any bodies? Yes. And it's caps. And a shotgun. Nice. Okay. Forwards we go. Oh, we may have actually found our quest person. Phew. You folks saved my bacon. Okay, Artie Moore, Explorer, Scavenger, all round. Nice guy. Oh sure, nice lady. The ferals dragged her away to some abandoned building. Okay, so two quantums. Very good. We've completed this mission technically, so you could end the quest here, but that would be daft. Let's deal with some ghouls. So we're going to be dealing with radiation now, most definitely. Luckily we brought Radaways with us, so shouldn't be a problem. Okay, let's. Uh, one of them's nearly dead. Uh, the other two quite far away from being dead. Okay, come on, reload your guns. There we go. There we go. Two down, one to go. And you can see the little red bars there are starting to appear from radiation poisoning. Oh, corpse. Oh, nice. 
So that is an agility outfit, which is great for our restaurant. Okay, into the next room. And we do have some shiny in there. And it's more caps. Nice. Okay, down we go. And into the next room here that we uh, couldn't access from below. Oh, three more ghouls. Fantastic. Okay. We are... I didn't actually mean to do that, but hey, hey, it is what it is. Okay, we're gonna, probably going to need to give this one a stim pack. There we go. Uh, the other one's health isn't too, too low yet. Uh, let's uh, get these ghouls dealt with. There we go. One down, two down. And come on, third one. There we go. Three ghouls down. One corpse. An extra stim pack. Ooh, another handyman outfit. So that's another agility outfit. Very good. The statistical improvement of our canteen will be felt when these guys return from the wasteland. Okay, let's apply a stim pack before we get to the next room. We still have uh, plenty, so that's fine, of course, because we got the two extras at the beginning. And we do have the two extra radaways as well. But the radaways you want to save until you get to the end of a quest uh, to make sure that you get rid of all the radiation. So, um, oh, we've got a critical hit chance. Don't really want to use it on a rad roach. So let's just get that killed. Okay. Oh, and a uh, blueprint. Lovely. Nice. And it was a rare blueprint as well. Oh, and a 10mm pistol. Those that uh, have played Fallout 4 will know, of course, that's uh, one of the best early guns. Oh, another outfit. So another handyman outfit. So that's another agility. So that means three people in our canteen will now get a big agility boost. Okay, into the next room we have some more ghouls. But we've got double crits, so let's get them killed. Two and a half damage. Nice. Next one. Five times damage. Oh yes. Nice. Okay, one ghoul to go and the ghoul is down. Any bodies? Yes. Oh, another blueprint. Another rare blueprint. Nice, and I think this might be the last, nope, second from last room maybe. Okay, on we go to the next room. And it's just shiny galore and it's caps. Nice, and a baseball glove, so some junk. Final room, shiny. Two stim packs, nice. Okay, so now we want to use the radaways. Get rid of all the radiation. There we go. I don't think we need to give her a stim pack. Uh, let's go to, uh, in fact, I don't think we really need to give any of them, but we can give Jeffrey one and uh, Janet as well, because we've got extras. So we've got nine, we came with six, so we've got plus three and uh, return to the vault. We have done every single room. Everything's been cleared out. Return to the vault. Okie dokie. Rare weapon recipe, rare outfit recipe, and an enhanced 10 millimeter pistol. Here we are back in the shelter. We are nearly at the uh, collect 200 water, so let's rush it. 34% chance, fingers crossed, and success. Nice. Up to 168 and a level up. Always handy. Right, so not bad at all. Okie dokie, everyone's working away. We've got 11 minutes until we get three stim packs. Um, one of the things we should also probably start doing is uh, handing out all those extra guns that we've got. Uh, the sound from the mysterious stranger, of course, didn't see him. You always have to listen out for it, and it does give you a very brief window of opportunity to actually uh, get it done. Uh, let's get her moved to the canteen, because she's an agility person, and she'll be happier there. And of course we can apply the outfits when the guys get back from the quest. Okay, the diner's got 2 minutes and 40 seconds to go. I'm conscious that our food is low. 34% chance, hmm. We've only got 2 minutes and 38 seconds until it's ready, so it might be worth waiting. Are we going to find a guy? Okay. We're currently broadcasting to the wasteland, and it will be finished in 2 hours and 11 minutes. So it has a cycle. That cycle has a chance of uh, recruiting someone from the wasteland. Uh, you can actually click that switch, and what it will do is it will just go to happiness uh, for our dwellers in the vault. 
Storage, we're at 29 out of 40. As you can see, we do have lots of extra guns in there. We don't need that rusty BB gun, so we'll get that sold. Uh, we'll keep the other guns, because they do slightly higher damage, and start equipping them out. So enhanced, let's uh, give the enhanced lever action rifle here to Nicole. Uh, you've got a 10 mil pistol. Sorry, you've got nothing. So let's get, uh, oh, actually, let's make sure everyone else has got guns first. Okay, so you've got the uh, shotgun, you've got a pull cue, baseball bat, uh, you've got fists. So hunting rifle or the rusty sawn off, you've got a pistol, you've got a pistol. Okay, so go back over to Sarah and give her the hunting rifle. There we go. Right, level you up, sir. Two caps, whoop whoop, let's celebrate. We've got 18 quantum colas at the moment, so not bad. Uh, let's level her up as well, so there we go some extra cabs. Again, we don't have any guns left now, but of course the guys coming back will. Enhanced 3-2 pistol. Uh, let's give you a fist and give you the 3-2 pistol, purely because nobody in that bottom room has a gun. Now food, we are starting to get quite low on. So we've got 22 people in the vault now, and uh, we might need to upgrade the diner. Uh, we may need to give it a little boost. Uh, 168 water, so hopefully we should tick that off uh, on the next cycle. Uh, delivering eight baby dwellers and having ten people dance, a much more long-term quest. Oh, Mysterious Stranger. Nice. 134 camps. Oh, yes. Up to 328. And, of course, when the guys get back from the quest, uh, we'll get even more camps. Oh, yes. Okay, so at this point in time, we are literally waiting for the diner to finish. We've got 14 seconds until the cycle completes. Oh, someone to level up. Uh, but let's wait for that. Uh, let's level him up. What am I talking about? Okay, and of course, let's collect the food as soon as it's ready. And what we will try and do is rush. Uh, and fingers crossed that will be successful. So we're at full cycle now. 34% chance of an incident. And success. Nice. Haven't had that much success in a single episode so far in the series. Uh, so it's always pleasant when that happens. We've got 24 seconds until we've got more water. Oh, we have had an incident, though. Coincidence or not? I'm going to say yes. Okay, now that is a basic storage room. And the fire, for some reason, has now decided to spread everywhere else. Oh, for goodness me. Okay, get back in there. Get back in there. Get the fire out. Okay, uh, let's grab some people from the diner. Let's grab some people from the diner. Collect all the stuff. Water and fire, blah, blah. Ah, everyone's burning. Okay, we've got 196 water. One more cycle and we'll get it completed. We've got three people in there. Might be worth adding another couple. Uh, there we go. That's five. Okie dokie. There we go. They've put out the fires in the other rooms, so that's fine. Just got this last one to put out. And another experience boost for everyone, of course. Okie dokie. Come on, get the fire out. Nearly there, people. Nearly there. You're ignoring that little fire on the left-hand side, but I'm sure it will go out. And everyone's going to be fine. Yes, they are. Lovely stuff. Okay, everyone will now go and return to their original locations, so you don't need to manage people. So when it comes to an incident, drag people wherever you want, because once the incident is over, everyone will go back to where they originally were, and you don't need to worry about it. So that's fine. Okay, now water is the only resource uh, at the moment. Oh no, 44% chance of an incident. Uh, not going to risk it. Uh, that's a bit too of a high percentage for us to uh, risk doing a rush, uh, but that's fine. Um, the bars are much higher now, so we're in a bit of a p better position than we were at the beginning of the episode. Uh, radio room will cost 1,500 caps to upgrade, and we can't build the next one next to it until we upgrade the first one. So you want a level 2 radio station so that you can put another level 1 next to it. And then vice versa, you upgrade to level 3, so you have a level 3, a level 2, and a level 1 all next to each other. So that top floor is three little radio rooms. And then later on in the game, you can eventually upgrade all to level 3, so you have one big radio room. Okay, so we've got a minute left on the food. Ah, and the power's ready. I mean, power we have no issues with now that we've bought the 
extra power room down on uh, sub level four. Well, actually, I'm saying that if the, you've got ground floor at the top, then it's minus one, minus two. So it'd be minus three. We're down to minus three for the floor. Okay, right. I think what we'll do is skip the footage forwards uh, to get to a little bit more interesting times. Again, as I've said, I tend to cut pieces of footage out uh, rather than wasting time. So these guys have got 16 minutes till they're going to be back, but look at all those lovely outfits they're bringing back, as well as additional weapons. And of course, some junk, lovely stuff. And one of the big mistakes I made was selling junk. Uh, so again, I've said it in previous episodes and I'll say it again now, do not sell your junk. You will need it as you progress through because it's used to make everything from outfits to weapons. And if you sell it all, you'll be like, oh, why did I sell those? Because you'll run out lickety split. You'll think you'll have loads, and then two seconds later, you'll be like, I've used all my junk and I've got nothing left, which is not the greatest of ideas. But I think, uh, let's, oh, let's collect the water. Yay, finally, 200 water, an extra 50 caps. And we're at 1,226 caps. So we're back to a fairly decent level. Collect 50 containers on quests for another pet. Oh yes, that is the kind of objective that you want. Uh, those objectives uh, aren't always the case. Uh, that's the Mysterious Stranger, by the way. You could see that the lift was lit up with no one in it, so you knew it was the Mysterious Stranger. Uh, but again, those uh, objectives are rare and uh, aren't very often, but when you do get them, it's very good. Diner, upgrade, 500. It's something we need to think about. Because again, food at the moment, we haven't filled it up, and we could afford to upgrade the diner to level 2. So again, down to 14 minutes before these guys come home, and I think... That's about it for episode 6, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. As you can see, Perception 1, Agility 2 for Raider Armor, Agility 3 for the um, Handyman Outfits, and Perception 2, Luck 1 for the Wasteland Medic. So that does a boost for your water treatment facilities, and the Handyman Outfits, as well as the Raider Armor, are all good for your diner. But other than that, I think for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Know-It-All Gaming. Until next time, see you then.